Ebony Hudson and her children are devastated, and she's asking people to be on the lookout for a key piece of evidence, her husband's pickup truck, and she's asking for people to pray for her family. We do not believe that this crime was a random act of, of violence. We believe that Mr. Hudson uh, was targeted and followed home uh, where he was fatally assaulted. Southfield police are now trying to figure out who wanted 48-year-old Frederick Hudson dead, a husband and father of two who were told was in real estate. And Sunday night around 8 o'clock, as Hudson was returning home from visiting friends, he was ambushed in his driveway before he could even get out of his pickup truck. He pulls into his driveway and he's seated there uh, for several seconds. It also shows an unknown vehicle occupied by at least three individuals, uh, one of which being armed with a handgun. These individuals exit the vehicle. Uh, the individual armed with a handgun approaches Mr. Hudson's on the driver's side of the vehicle. The other two suspects uh, follow in on the passenger side. What happens next is too disturbing to show. Police say Hudson and the man who ambushed him exchange gunfire. Both men are hit. The assailant's two accomplices jump back into their car and take off. And that's why police think Hudson's killer decided to take his pickup truck. It's a possibility uh, that he used that vehicle as a means of escape. Then 22 minutes later, police say a 25-year-old man who could be Hudson's killer showed up at a local hospital. This individual was suffering from gunshot wounds to the neck and chest. He's described as 25 years old. He does have a, a history of violence. What Southfield police were still looking for today was Hudson's pickup truck. Mr. Hudson's vehicle is still out. We're still looking for a 2013 white Toyota Tundra. License plates Charles Paul Adam 1749. Again, Charles Paul Adam 1749, a white Toyota Tundra. So if you have any information in this case or know where that vehicle is, you're urged to call Southfield Police right away. In Southfield, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.